Hello, this is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Rear Room Show. And I'm back in the park at my favorite spot, and I noticed this tree looks like it got struck by lightning because it has that scar all the way down the trunk of the tree. So I'm glad I wasn't here when that happened. But anyway, we're in the park today to do some field testing and hopefully we can do some testing and I'm going to move the camera up so stand by of the loop antenna where to go where to go I don't want to get too close because I want to keep everything in the picture so we're uh, we've gotten away from my noisy office when I say noisy I mean it's got all kinds of RF from computers and routers and printers monitors and everything and so we moved away from that come out to the park which is this particular park it's um, it's pretty big and it has quite a bit of distance from any power lines at least any that I can see so let me flip the viewfinder over here so I can see if we're in the picture yeah we're in the picture kind of so I brought the loop antenna and I brought this DJAN, DJAN, DJAN radio that I tried in my office in the previous video. And, and also I found my, this is basically a um, Texan 360, PL360, but it's rebranded by CompuCount, CompuCom, and they put their name on it but it's the same as a 360. And this is not the latest model, This is which has single sideband. This is the older model, which has AM, FM, shortwave, and no sideband. So we're gonna try those two radios out here uh, on the AM band, the medium wave band, with this loop antenna and see what it does now that I'm away from the my office with all the RF noise. So here we go. So we're going to start with the DGN first, we'll turn it on, and we'll go back to medium wave. Oh, pushing the wrong button, that didn't help. There we go, boy, what <laughs> a learning curve I have to go through. Okay, now we're going to tune to the station we used before, which is 9, 10 kilohertz, 910 kilohertz. We're going to tune that. Okay, now turn the volume back up. There's a button. Okay, I got it. Do you know what you do tomorrow when you go to work? Now... Out here, away from my office, and it's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, that station, which is about 40 miles from me, it's coming in pretty good. There is some noise, static noise, on what? I don't know. But it's pretty strong. Yeah, maybe it's because I'm still close to this guy. I'm moving him away. No, he's still picking up that station pretty good. Which doesn't, doesn't surprise me. Whoops. Wrong button. Okay, now we're going to bring the loop antenna over. And I was, was suggested that I put it the radio right inside the loop. And we'll kind of rotate the antenna. That's pretty good. I don't know if my camera is picking up the audio very good.
this station's coming really good this morning. Now, I'm going to take the loop away, leave the radio in that same position. Take the loop away. Okay, the uh, audio went down and the noise went up. I'll let you listen. Strongest signal and strongest noise, right there. We move the antenna back over here, close to it. But watch this. Watch Whoa! This prayer for us. I pray that God would keep you. Yeah, I like that. That's why in First Corinthians chapter five and verse nine, I mean, uh, 10, he says, stick the radio in, inside the loop. I don't want you keeping company Whoa. with sexual really strong. people. No noise. The background noise is gone. There we go. Talk the talk, but don't walk the walk. He's saying the church ought to have a stand, and the stand ought to be listened. You, you well, it's booming in. So let me turn this off for a second. So number one improvement was just getting away from my office. And number two improvement is the loop is improving that signal. And it improves it quite a bit. Um, so let's set this one down. And let's fire up this one right here. And uh, on, off, right there. Most people, I'm saying in Romans 12, 21, okay. I don't want you to be overcome by evil, but I want you to overcome evil with good. How does God want you to God wants to use the people in this church. God wants to use your work. God wants you to... Now, from what I can tell, just listening to it, is that it's... Um, the normal audio coming from the station is very clear, very loud, <clears throat> and there doesn't seem to be any noise in the background like the DJ. Now, this radio, again, I, I've never taken it apart to see how big the AM, I mean, excuse me, the medium wave antenna is, but this radio comes with an external AM antenna, which Naturally, I've lost. Well, it's not lost, it's missing in action. So anyway, let's go and uh, see if the loop antenna will have any effect. The people you work with every day, never tell them about Jesus, to go pick up a card. You don't even know to tell them about Jesus. I don't think that's what he intended it. I think what he intended us to do is Matthew 514 to be the light of the world. I think he intended us to have a lifestyle evangelism. You're listening to Living Truth with Kent Witt. Pastor Kent will be back in just a minute with more important truth. Okay, that... In the meantime, we want you to know that as an outreach of Idaho... Kind of Baptist... Okay, that station here, and again, it's only 40 miles from me, um, is coming in loud and clear, which one of my... Uh, viewers commented that I should be getting that station loud and clear because it's only 40 miles. So, again, the effect was that in my office, uh, my shortwave reception is just terrible, absolutely terrible. Just too much RF and noise, and it just kills kills the medium wave band. It kills the shortwave band also. So, when I'm in my office, I have to use an outside external antenna brought in through a coax shielded cable. So that's that. Now, what I did do is I went to Radio Locator, because I wasn't, I wasn't gonna bring a computer, and I printed out all the stations that are up to 200 miles from me. And we can try some of these. Um, I'm just gonna start at the top and see if I can. The one thing I have to be careful of is to not to find a frequency that there's multiple stations of which one might be pretty close. So I gotta stay away from those. So here's one way down here on 540 kilohertz and it's 78 miles from me and it's Pine Hills. I'm not sure where Pine Hills is, Florida. So let's try that one, 540. 
And we're going to try it on this guy since he was doing such a good job. They may watch this by your words with this. Oops, it would help if I turn it the right direction. There is something there. Pretty weak. Now let's see, this says this is a news talk station, if that's what I'm receiving. So let's see if the loop's going to help it. I have to retune the loop. I'm just going to set this right here, but I'll try to. Okay, there it's greatly improved if it's that station. Now we rotate, we set this guy kind of down in here and rotate the antenna. About there. Now it is extremely overcast. The whole horizon to horizon is overcast this morning. That's why probably you're hearing the lightning crashes. But anyway, according to this chart, there's only one station on 540 kilohertz. And it's 80 miles. Okay, let's um, let's go up to. Actually, that that voice sounds like uh, one of the people on a local station at 570. Let me see if that's the case. No, that's a totally different person. Now that's local station, um, it's only 24 miles from here. Abraham sent Eleazar, his servant, out to find a bride for Isaac. It's great symbolism here. It does say in the listing that this station is a religious station, which that's what it sounds like. So let's go to 580. Find a, a person for the bride. It's supposed to be a station on 580 and it's about 100 miles from here. And I hear nothing. We'll go to the loop antenna. Something there. Right there. Pretty garbled. There we go. He's talking about sports. We'll see what this says. Sports. So that's what it is. And it's in uh, Orlando. 100 miles from me. So, we take this loop away. I can't pick it up. Yeah, just for grins. Turn the volume down. Actually, I'll yeah, turn the volume down. Let's go to this radio, which does not have any external antenna connection. Uh, 
and it's really small so it's probably got a pretty small internal antenna and this is the DGN DE22 and we'll turn it on